Okay, hopefully this will come out on this GoPro. Um, got a question about how to decarbonize a pipe. Um, I actually sent my pipe to Pacific Crest Pipe Repair. They did a great job. They cleaned it up. Got this big old dent out of it that I had right here. And uh, burned it um, and got most of the carbon out. They say that most of the carbon builds up in the first bend of the pipe here. So that was all burned out. Um, and I was just curious if I want to try to clean my pipe out later, how I could do it. Um, I don't have an oxyacetylene torch, so I'll probably invest in a map torch that'll get hot enough. The propane just doesn't seem to get hot. I can't get it hot enough with the propane torch. So I came up with this little cable. Um, this is about 26 inches of a uh, quarter inch, maybe three eighths might even work better. Just frayed the end, put a little aluminum um, end swedge, whatever they're called. Clamp that on right there just to keep it from fraying way, way, way down. And um, don't want to open this up too much because then I can't get it in the pipe. And then just chuck it in the drill. I just cut the end off with a cutoff wheel because the, the um, bolt cutters just didn't get a clean cut. So the cutoff wheel just made a nice clean cut. I could chuck it in the, this old piece of junk drill. Make sure to run this backwards. If you run it forwards, if you run it to the right, it'll unwind the cable, which uh, I found out by experience. So run it backwards. And all we did was, and I got a little good little pile of carbon out um, even after Pacific Crest cleaned it. So they may have just burned that one end and then not worried too much about the rest. I didn't really get that much out. But So anyway, just use a gloved hand. Obviously I'm wearing safety goggles. And um, I just cut it long enough to where it would fit down about maybe two-thirds of the pipe because it has to make this bend and come back and cover this area that um, and I want it to kind of overlap no matter which end I came in. So it kind of knocks around in there, makes a lot of noise, and um, whether or not it gets everything, I don't know. Probably get the big stuff. Then getting it in this end is a little bit of a pain, but if you kind of feed it with the gloved hand and just kind of push on it while, it's, while you spin it, it'll go around. Now I've already done this a couple times, so this is just for an example, so I don't expect to get much out.